With Riverside.fm, you can record high-quality remote interviews with both audio and video, and that's what I'm going to walk you through step-by-step -step how to do in today's tutorial video. If you want to follow along with this tutorial, you can go to Riverside.fm, or I'll put our affiliate link down below in the description where you can save some money on the first payment you have with Riverside. Click on Get Started in the top right-hand corner. I already have an account, so I'm just going to log in. Once you finish with the sign-up process, click on Create New at the top of your screen, and then you'll see this drop-down that says Studio Name, and recording type. So give the studio a name. So Riverside Tutorial. Then you have two options. If you want to start recording right now, click on Enter Studio. Or if it's something you're planning ahead and you want to send out links to your guest, you want the other option. So Continue Setup Studio. So we're going to click on that option. Then you can see here, again, you have the same options, recording type, audio only, or audio and video. Then you probably want to schedule this. So we can do that right here. Click on Schedule. And then you have a couple options. So you want to choose the date. So how about February 28th at 5 p.m. and then choose the time zone. So we are on Eastern time and schedule. Okay, with that schedule, the next thing is to invite participants. So here you can click on invite and then add their email. I'm gonna add Laura, my business partner. And then here you have three separate options. You have audience, guest, and producer. We're going to add her as a guest Really quick, here's a description of the different roles. So host, host of the studio, you have the power to hit the record button. You will be recorded and can tune settings. Producer, invited producers won't show up in the final recording. They will appear on the call and can tune settings. Guests, guests will be recorded. They have a simplified interface and can only modify their own settings. Audience, audience members can watch and listen while the studio is recording, but won't be seen or recorded. And we've got that. Now we can create the show. Once you've created the show, you'll be taken here. You can invite other guests or click on go to studio when it's time to record. You can see the recording tab is obviously empty. We haven't recorded anything yet. If you want to adjust any of the settings before going into the studio, you can do that by clicking right here on settings. You can see again, the name, the security. So is this public or private? Require guests to wait in lobby before entering the studio. Again, the schedule, invite participants, participant recording. So you have record only audio, use noise reduction, select audio sample rates. And then here you can adjust optimized quality. So up to 720p or advanced quality will allow you to record in 1080p or 4K. If we scroll down a little further, you can see you can connect live stream. So you could go live on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, or LinkedIn. So if you're good with the settings, the next step would be go to studio when it's time to record. Maybe a couple minutes before that, I would go into the studio, make sure everything's working properly. Then your guest arrives and you'll be ready to record. Now let's walk through what the studio looks like. So let me show you how to make the adjustments on this first screen. So the very first thing, make sure your name is correct or however you want that to show up. The next thing is the microphone, camera, and speakers. So I'm not going to use my MacBook mic. I'm going to use the Deity microphone. I'm going to use my Sony camera that I'm recording from right now. And the audio should be these Bose headphones. The next thing you want to check, hey, am I using headphones or not? I would recommend using headphones. Otherwise, they're going to be echo of your speakers. You're going to hear the other person's voice and you're going to have the microphone potentially picking some of that up. So that can create some issues. So I am using headphones. And from there, let's enter the studio, join studio. And then it's gonna look something like this. So let me walk you through everything on screen right now. So you can see right now, it's just me. Invite other people right here. You can see it is not recording yet. This will show you the upload status as you're going through the interview. And then you can give the recording a name. So let's say Riverside Tutorial. And then you can see just me invite is here as well. You can turn on re noise reduction for everybody, low data mode. If you need it, you can see that my microphone is working. One thing you'll notice is it's just recording or I'm in 720p right now. So one thing you'll notice it says 720p right here. So this camera and my webcam both record higher quality than that. And my guests should have a higher quality camera. So to update that, I'll show you in a second. You can see echo cancellation right here. Let me just finish running you through everything that you see. So you have media, chat, people. You can leave here. You can share your screen if you wanted to. You can adjust the speaker if you wanted. You can adjust your camera. You can turn the camera off. You can change your microphone. Here is what you want to hit when you're actually ready to record. And then you can adjust a bunch of the settings right here. So again, if you want to change 
the camera, the microphone, the speakers, you have all that. You can hear the output volume or you can see how loud it is right now as I'm speaking. Echo cancellation, mirror the video, here is my name. Then within general, what you have, the studio name, private or public, require guests to wait in the lobby. And then the recording. So this is where we want to make the adjustment. So again, do we want to just record audio, noise reduction, the sample rate? Probably don't need to worry about that if you're just get start getting started. Here on optimized quality is only 720p. Advanced quality will allow you to choose up to 1080 or up to 4K. This is just going to be in 1080p. So we got that going. I think you saw the camera update in the background. So with that good, we can close out of the settings. You can see right here now, this is updated to say 1080p as opposed to 1020. And you can see up above audio and video, 1080p, 720p live. So one of the great things with Riverside, the quality while you're talking to someone doesn't have to be perfect. It's not a big deal. The reason why we use Riverside is the fact that it's recording the audio and the video on each user's computer. So there's no need to deal with the internet. So it's recorded on the computer. And then over time during the interview and after the interview, it's gonna upload to Riverside at the high quality that it was recorded at on the computer. So you don't have to worry about the internet cutting out or there being a bad signal for a little bit. So the audio is bad. The video quality gets really pixelated. None of that will be a problem in the final recording because all of the video and audio were recorded locally. One thing to keep in mind before your guest arrives or when they arrive is make sure to tell them not to leave the browser window until the upload says 100%. So obviously we're not recording right now, but when you are, you're gonna see at the top of your screen, the percent uploaded. So as soon as it hits 100%, you're gonna have all of the audio and video of both the host, me, and the guest. As soon as that's done, you're good to go. You can close it. Then you'll have access to the audio and and video to use however you'd like for a podcast, YouTube, social media, etc. All right, so as you can see right now, I have Laura, my guest right now, and so I will have control of what's going on there if her audio needs to be turned up or down. Make sure everything's working, do your test, and then when you're ready to start recording the podcast, basically hit right here, and then both of us will get a short countdown, and then... Three, two, one. And then here we go. We're live with our podcast. The thing you want to keep in mind here is we're going to have a conversation. If I look over my computer screen, it says 0% uploading right now. It's doing the same thing on Laura's computer. So if I were to right now, so this is 15 seconds, hit stop, then I'm going to wait a little bit. And then you see uploading is at 99% and then upload complete. So we're good to go. I have the video saved on my end. It uploaded the video from Laura's computer to the internet. We're good to go in terms of having the final podcast episode. After you finish the recordings, you can go back into your account and access the video and audio files. So you're gonna see something like this and then click on view recordings. So here you can see the one recording we have now. Let's click on that. Then you're gonna see a couple of different options here. The first, you can edit and create clips right from within Riverside. So if we click on this right here, you're gonna see that there's three different options. So you can create stories that are nine by 16. You can create posts that are one by one, or you can create full length videos for say Spotify or for YouTube that are 16 by nine. We're not gonna go through that in today's video, but if you wanna see Riverside video editing, write something like that down below in the comment section and I'll gladly create another video. So let's go back. So the full recording right here, you can preview, edit, or export. You have all participants. So this is gonna be a split screen or what we end up doing is downloaded the individual video and audio files, and then we edit them in DaVinci Resolve. So we end up editing off the platform. DaVinci Resolve, we edit for our podcast, for YouTube videos, everything else. So if you wanna learn how we edit our videos, check out the video up above, or if you wanna learn how to create your podcast, check out the video below. Hope to see you in another video. Bye-bye.